Hey, good morning. I'm Mark Call, and I wanted to continue this morning on my nuclear medicine series. Uh, I think I'm going to continue with uh, nuclear medicine uh, ventilation perfusion study uh, for the layman. It's also known as a nuclear medicine VQ lung scan, a nuclear medicine lung scan, etc., etc. Please bear with me. <coughs> Got a little scratchy throat this morning. But what I want to do is uh, kind of tell you uh, what to expect when you go down to the hospital or imaging center for your nuclear medicine procedure. Um, you're going to go in and the nuclear med tech is going to take you back to nuclear medicine. They're going to sit you down and they're going to um, have you breathe in either a radioactive gas or a radioactive uh, protein particle. The radioactive gas is xenon gas, and typically how they do that is they'll have you take a deep breath. The nuclear medicine technologist will give you the radioactive xenon. <clears throat> you will breathe it into your lungs, and uh, they will ask that you hold your breath as long as you can. And you're breathing it into the lungs is called a wash-in phase. The holding your breath as long as you can, that's an equilibrium phase. And then they have you start breathing in and out, in and out, and they, that's a washout phase. And they see how the xenon gas goes in the lungs. If there's a section of the lung that's not getting any of the gas, <clears throat> how long it takes uh, for it to wash out of your lungs. Okay, excuse that scratchy throat. Um, <clears throat> if they use the radioactive protein particles, it's technesium 99M with macroaggregated albumin. You can Google that if you want. I'm not going to get into it. Um, but it is uh, radioactive protein particles um, tagged with a radioisotope, technesium 99M. That's a man made isotope. You can Google that too. <clears throat> um, the radioactive uh, protein particles you breathe in and out, and they coat the inside of your lungs uh, relative to airflow. If you have a section of the lung that's not getting the right amount of uh, air, it will show up on your exams. If it's not flowing in evenly into both lungs, uh, if there's a portion of the lung missing uh, due to is it misshapen or whatever, uh, is there a tumor in there that's pushing something out of the way or whatever. Um, just to say real quick, nuclear medicine exams, uh, you're not actually seeing a lung, uh, you're not actually seeing bones, you're not actually seeing a heart. What you're seeing is whatever that radiopharmaceutical is being contained by the physical boundaries of whatever organ you are imaging, and that's why it has that particular organ. Nuclear medicine, it images uh, physiological function, it doesn't image anatomy. You know, like MRI, uh, CAT scan, X-ray. Uh, it's, it's actual physiological function. Okay, to continue, uh, didn't mean to get off on a tangent there. To continue, um, you're going to breathe in, or either, uh, you know, you're going to breathe in the whatever that radioisotope is. <clears throat> they'll either take pictures while you're breathing in and out, or they'll take pictures. Uh, after you breathe it in and out. Depends on whether you have the xenon gas or whether you have the uh, uh, radioactive particle, uh, protein particles. Okay, once they get you ventilated, so to speak, they're going to take you in and either sit you in a nuclear medicine camera, they'll lie you on a nuclear medicine table. You know, there's various nuclear medicine cameras that uh, you can have pictures taken in. The ventilation pictures typically take Oh, about 10 to 15 minutes. It just all depends on how well you as a patient can tolerate lying flat. Uh, if you're having a lot of shortness of breath, it may take longer for your test. Uh, because I know at least when I was a nuclear medicine technologist, I would work with you and we would take breaks if you had to take a break. Uh, some of the facilities nowadays treat you like cattle and they just bark out orders and you know, they don't, no real compassion. <clears throat> Let's put it that way. Okay, once they get your uh, ventilation pictures, uh, those pictures will take 
you know, 10 to 15 minutes uh, to get them. Then they're going to move on to the perfusion or quantification part of the study. Um, they are going to administer through the vein in your arm uh, the same radioactive particles um, technetium 99M macroaggregated albumin that you breathe in through the aerosol but this time they're going to inject it in the vein in your arm and what it does is it goes to the lungs and it's trapped in the lungs uh, based off of the actual physical size uh, the particles are uh, just big enough to block the arterioles in the lungs <coughs> excuse me and uh, they stay there just long enough to get pictures. They don't cut off enough blood supply uh, that they damage your lungs. Um, and then your body phagocytizes them and it comes along, eats them, and gets rid of them. And your blood flow continues as normal. Um, but the injection, it goes in. It's allowed to circulate for, oh, three or four minutes. And that way everything's where it ought to be in the lungs and it's cleared out of the soft tissues and things like that. Uh, everything's where it ought to be in the lungs. And by virtue of that, what you see is a uh, shape like the lungs. You know, you get a lung shape uh, on each side. And if you have a blood clot in there, it's going to show up as a missing wedge out of the uh, lung. And the radiologist can look at that and they can compare um, the ventilation pictures and perfusion pictures and they can come up with whether you have acute uh, pulmonary embolism, uh, embolism or a chronic pulmonary embolism and then they can uh, give your doctor the report what they need to do to, to treat you for it. Uh, nuclear medicine lung scan is going to take about 35 to 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Just all depends on how well you to tolerate the imaging as a patient. That's it for nuclear medicine lung scans. Uh, the doctor is going to take a look at it and see uh, what's going on. And I will see you later. We'll pick it up uh, on another nuclear study. Perhaps the next one we'll talk about gallbladders. You know. Have a great day. This is Mark Hall, Zephyr Hills, Florida.